Welcome YouTubers, my name is Albert and today we're going to be going over how to recover all the information on a broken hard drive. The only way this fix will work is if you have an ATA, IDE or a SATA hard drive which is disk driven and you have figured out that there's no power going to it. One of the ways you can do that is you can start up your computer, take the hard drive out, have it plugged in and see if it's spinning at all in there and you would feel it you would definitely feel it if it's spinning or you turn on your BIOS menu and you realize that it's not even plugged in it's saying nothing here anyway I wanted to make this video because I had this hard drive as a slave drive where I kept a lot of my important information like tax information music you know, all my childhood memories, past, stuff like that. And to me, it's pretty important, so I decided to keep this hard drive. And I have realized that there is a way to fix these things. And they will work as long as there's no power. If this thing is, like, churning and it's scratching, making funky sounds or whatever, smelling, stinking or whatnot, this video is not for you. All right, here we go. So I have plugged in the hard drive and started up my computer. And as you can see here, it is not showing up. There's supposed to be a third one. This is my local. This is my other one. And so I had three hard drives from the start. Now I only have two. And it's not working, not showing up, no power. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to find another duplicate hard drive that's identical to the one you have so this one is a 80 gig seagate 7200.7 and this one is also 7200.7 seagate 80 gigs and i got this from amazon or i think it was ebay for about like 20 something bucks people try to sell anything nowadays as long as it's working, it should be fine. The only tool you're gonna need is a Torx, and it's a pretty small Torx. I have a combination of a few. I'm not too sure what size it is, but I'm pretty sure you can open it with a really small flathead screwdriver if you're really careful. Just be careful and don't damage any one of these little connectors because you're going to end up with the same problem that you started with. So this is it. That's all you're replacing. Don't need to open it up or anything. You don't need to tighten this too hard, just a little, little snug. There we are. Alright, so we swapped the boards, plugged it in, started it up. BIOS menu is now showing 3 hard drive, which is a prominent sign. So as you can see, slave did not appear here before. And there's all the stuff. Man, this is cool. Now I just gotta transfer all of this to my solid state drive and forget this problem ever existed. Anyway guys, I really appreciate you watching this. And if you find this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up. 
Also, subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.